To make things even better, John, today is opening day for the Giants and the A's. Baseball, who knew? I mean, we were worried about a lockout, but now it's all happening. Oakland starts on the road, but the Giants are playing at home this afternoon in Crown Force. Will Tran is that at Oracle. Baseball is back. I mean, it didn't look like it was, especially with a 99-day lockout, but then the owners and the players got together and said, well, wait a minute, let's get the cooler heads together, and that's why we have a double header today. What I mean by that is a season opener and a home opener. Usually if you follow the Giants, they start on the road and then they come back here, maybe game three or game four of the season. But no, this year they're starting off at home and there are some tickets still available. There's lots to build on. 107 wins last season. Here's Mario Alioto with the Giants. It would not be a home opener, a season opener without your orange tie. Thank you for joining yeah, us. That's sir. our tradition. Every opening day, you got to put the orange tie on. But uh, we're, we're thrilled today's opening day. And as you said, it's our real home opener. It's the first game of the season. Uh, we've got about 40,000 tickets sold, a little bit more than that. So we have a few hundred left. I would encourage you, if you're thinking about coming down, the opening day is the day you've got to be here. So um, tickets today start at only 25 bucks. So there's, for the few that are left, Go to sfgiants.com or just come down to the ballpark today. Our ticket window's open at 9 o'clock. But opening day is a special occasion. We have a lot to celebrate. And as you said, we won 107 games last year. And uh, we're going to celebrate that today. I know you can't speak for the players or the manager, Gabe Kapler, you know, manager of the year. But there's a lot to build on. I mean, last year you guys were predicted to come in fourth or even third. So is there a fear factor of not going 107? You spoiled us last season. Well, we love being the underdogs, but I, I think the way we look at it, as long as you win one more than the Dodgers, we'll be happy. So it's, uh, you know, it's it, it'll be a long shot if we win 107 again. But, you know, you never know. We've got today's the first game. We'll see what what, what happens. But, you know, also it's our first year without Buster Posey here, uh, which is a little different. We've been so used to seeing Buster around. and. You know, just a reminder, on May 7th, we're going to celebrate Buster Posey as a Thank You Buster Day. So uh, put that on your radar. you got to come out and thank Buster, and he's going to thank the fans as well. I was going to mention that because Buster Posey always casually walks in like hours before the first pitch. So it will be weird in the first time since 2009 not to see him. Yeah, it's going to be a little different, but, you know, that's the whole thing about the Giants team. It's like, you know, you have, you have new stars and, and new faces, and that's what Gabe Kapler and Farhan Saidi are all about. It's putting a team together that's, that's exciting, and I think we found out last Last year, that you know, last year this time we didn't know who Lamont Roy Jr. was either, and now he became one of our one of the stories last year. So uh, you never know what's going to happen. That's the beauty of baseball. But it's opening day today. We've got some surprises uh, set as as we always do. We always we never say who's going to throw out the first pitch, but we uh, that'll be our surprise. But we're also going to be raising the the National League West uh, flag, and that'll be a surprise who's going to do that. Uh, we've got the uh, Navy Leapfrog parachute team coming in with the American flag. Uh, that'll be kind of interesting. Uh, well, the weather today is gorgeous, so it's going to be a nice day out here. Let me just jump on that one. Usually when we're here, we are freezing to death. You might see, be able to see the sun on the side of my face and Mario's face as well. Wonderful time. They have a 50-50 raffle, and some of that money will go towards Ukraine. So they're thinking about here, but they're thinking about the other side of the world. I did mention to Mario, it's been eight years since we've won the World Series. And talk about being spoiled. He said before 2010, it went a lot longer. So, yes. We Giants fans are definitely spoiled. Go Giants. Back to you.